In this video, I'm going to take you through finding determinants of a matrix using Gaussian elimination. We've talked about Gaussian elimination in our previous classes. In this video, we are going to apply the Gaussian elimination to find the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix. To find the determinant of this 3x3 three three matrix, we make good use of this theorem that so we make good use of the theorem that if you have a matrix A which is an N by N matrix that is a square matrix and you have a matrix B which is also N by N matrix but B was formed as a result of adding or subtracting a row to another row of matrix A, then the determinant of A is simply equal to the determinant of B. That is, if you formed B as a result of adding rows of A to other rows or subtracting one row from the other, then the determinant of A wouldn't change from the determinant of B. That is the first term. The second part is that when you have an upper triangular matrix and you want to find the determinant of an upper triangular matrix, the rule is saying is that the determinant is simply formed by multiplying the elements on the diagonal so in this case you have our a11 by a22 by a33 and that gives us our determinants these are the two theory we are going to base on to apply Gaussian elimination to solve for our determinants so I have a problem find the determinant of a matrix A which is 25, 5, 1, 64, 8, 1, 1, 4, 4, 12, 1. So this is the matrix we are having. We've been asked to find the determinant and we are going to use the Gaussian elimination. That is a naive Gaussian elimination since we have the Gaussian elimination with partial pivoting. To start with this, you know that naive Gaussian elimination deals with expressing our matrix into an upper triangular matrix by eliminating this term, this term, this term so that we get an upper triangular matrix. To start with you need to have 64 over 25. You divide this by this and multiply it by all the terms in the first row. So when I do that, I'm going to get this by 25 will give me what? 64 because 25 will cancel 25 and I get what? 64. Now, I'll have 64 over 25 by hot 5 and what am i going to get so 65 on 25 by 5 and that's going to give me 13 so i'll add it to this 13 then finally 64 over 25 by hot 1 and by 1 what am i going to get So I'm going to get 2.6. At this point, the rule is saying is after you've multiplied this factor by all the elements in the first row, you subtract it from the second row. So the second row I have my 64, I have my 8, then my 1. So I'm going to do this 9 subtraction here. This will give me 0. 8 minus 13 is negative 5. 1 minus this is negative 1. 6. 
hence my new matrix become 25 0 5 1 negative 5 negative 1.6 right then I have 1 4 4 I have 12 then I have 1 the next step is I need to eliminate this here and to eliminate this here what do I do so let's see from this side so I had 54 and 25 and that is 2.56 so let me do my multiplication once again so this 64 by 25 is 2.56 and here is going to be 2.56 so let me clean it so I'm going to have 2.56 here so here I'm going to be left with 1.56 right then this side I had 2.56 here multiplying 5 so as I was multiplying by 5 so this by hot 5 and that is going to give me 12.8 not 13 so let me do it well this is 12.8 right so now when I subtract 8 12.8 from 8 I'll be left with negative 4.8 instead so negative 4.8 so let me make correction to these entries here so I'm going to have negative 4.8, negative 1.56, right? So at this point, I'm going to take my second factor. I will divide this over 25, 144 over 25. Then I'll multiply it by the first row. So by 25, I'm going to be left with 144, right? Then by 5, I'm going to be left with so 144 over 25 by 5 I'm getting 28.8 I'll write it here then finally by 1 and that is giving me 5.76 so once you get this you subtract it from what our third entry row to eliminate it so my third entry rows I have 144 12 then 1 these are the rules so I'll do this nine subtraction and at this point will be zero so if you have 12 minus 28.8 I'll be left with negative 16.8 this will give me negative 4.76 right hence my new matrix become 25 5 and 1 0, negative 4.8, negative 1.56. Here will be 0, negative 16.8, negative 4.76. This is the new matrix I've got. So let's see. At this point, I have to eliminate this for me to get my upper triangular matrix. So I'm going to have negative 16.8 over negative 4.8 as my multiplier. What am I getting? Negative 16.8 over negative 4.8 and that is going to give me 3.5. So when I multiply this here, I'm going to do multiply this here by my second row, then subtract it from this side. So when I multiply this by negative 4.8. It's clearly this will cancel when I'll be left with what's negative 16.8, right? Then I clean this, I multiply the same thing by hot my one negative 1.56, and that is and that is going to give me negative 4.8. 
5.46 so let's see negative 5.46 at this point i'll write my third row entries then do my subtraction negative 16.8 negative 4.76 then do my subtraction so do my subtraction this will be zero now if you have negative 4.76 then minus minus also to be plus 5.46 will be left with 0 0.7 hence my matrix finally becomes 25 so this was its 25 1 so i'm going to have 25 then i'll have 5 then 1 0 negative 4.8 1.56 negative 1.56 then the third row I have 0 0 0 point what 7 so my matrix has now become an upper triangular matrix at this point my determinant of a is simply equal to what 25 by negative 4.8 by 0 0.7 the rule is saying is that for any upper triangular matrix, the determinant is simply by multiplying this by this by this, the element on the principal diagonal. So 25 by negative 4.8 by 0 0.7. So I'm getting negative 84 as the answer for my determinant. Thank you for being with me in this video. Please subscribe to support. Don't forget to like and share.